relocating to a new country is an exciting thought to many around the world. But sometimes it's a little difficult to select the ideal destination to relocate to most especially in the dark continent, Africa. African countries have gradually been giving out good vibes when it comes to their development of attractive and accommodative areas over the years. So today in our video, we will be providing you details about the rehabilitation efforts of 15 African countries. Join us in this countdown. 15. Mauritius If living in an island paradise appeals to you, then you should consider moving to Mauritius. This country is situated off the coast of Madagascar, this diverse nation is renowned not just for its natural beauty, but it also offers an exceptional freedom level for her citizens to enjoy. As an expatriate living in Mauritius, you can expect a relaxed, casual and easygoing, that is a laid-back way of life and plenty of opportunities, along with great schools and healthcare. Here's everything you need to know about how to move to Mauritius. Mauritius is exceptionally known for her peaceful political conditions, for excellent infrastructure, where unlike other countries Mauritius as of the year 2000, a road system was created to hold the country's traffic level and over the years. Aside from these, the economy has experienced a sustained growth over the years, and the unemployment rate is amongst the lowest, with an educated and skilled workforce, establishing a welcoming and desirable living destination come 2024. 14. Seychelles Seychelles is the least populated island in the African continent. The country has the smallest population of any African independent country and the country is one of the most prosperous and rich countries on the continent. Over half of the population live in urban areas. Almost 90% of the people living in the Seychelles live on the biggest island Mahé which counts over 80,000 inhabitants. The children in this country commence schooling at the age of 6 years and school for 13 years, getting the country a young and strong working force. So starting a new life here gives you an advantage because the average standard of living in the Seychelles Islands is good. Almost every family owns a house and a car. Loans are affordable and jobs seem to be available. Local transport is cheap. Also ferries to the islands of Praslin and Lodiga if you are a resident. In the coming years, Seychelles is expected to have an increase in its development level and be able to accommodate more people. 13. Botswana Botswana, one of Africa's most stable countries, is the continent's longest continuous multi-party democracy. And to believe that it is relatively free of corruption and has a good human rights record. As a sparsely populated country, Botswana protects some of Africa's largest areas of wilderness, which are uninhabited areas. Botswana could be a very affordable place to live in and because of this decent cost of living, accommodations can therefore be found at good rates. The rents and utilities are cheaper than what expatriates may be used to in their other countries mean while the standard of housing is also high, but are expected to get lowered in the coming years so that the country can maintain its population. Making Botswana a good atmosphere and reliable place to start a new life. 12. South Africa the southernmost country and most developed country on the African continent, renowned for its varied topography, great natural beauty, and cultural diversity, all of which have made the country a favored destination for travelers since the legal ending of apartheid. That is a partners, or racial separation in 1994. Aside from these other countries, South Africa has an outstanding rate of development when it comes to provision of a well-developed electricity network. Here are a variety of compelling reasons that could draw you to South Africa to start afresh. Low cost of living, if you are a single person, your monthly cost will be just around $518.40, and if you are a family of four, expect a monthly expenditure of around $1,805.50, both figures exclude rent. This is a lot less than many neighboring countries. The population of this country is very welcoming, the give out a very relaxed and friendly vibe. And if you are here to work, you can have diverse employment opportunities. To be a worker and accommodate yourself and family, you need to be skilled and hardworking. Unskilled workers hardly even get a good paycheck at about $200 a month. This nation is very friendly to new people, has a relaxed work culture, the natural environment eases fresh breathing and healthy living. And most important, English is widely spoken. 11. Rwanda Talking about making yourself at home, 
the locals of this country are known for their very friendly, most open and welcoming nature. The country has devoted to keeping a world record at the level of life expectancy since the Rwandan War in 1993 which caused it to drop to 26 years. So living in Rwanda now, you are sure to live a long and healthy life. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, records showed that the rate of unemployment in the country was gradually dropping, say less than 1% in 2019. Like many countries, lockdowns and other preventive measures for COVID-19 originally caused unemployment to skyrocket back up to 1.35% in 2020. However, Rwanda quickly bounced back, employment rates rose from 43% in the second quarter of 2020 to nearly 49% in the third quarter. So aside from living healthy in Rwanda, you also work healthy to sustain life. Rwanda is known for cleanliness, safety and a friendly business environment. Therefore, making Rwanda an ideal location to start up maybe alone or with your family in 2024. 10. Namibia Focusing on a region with a low population density, Namibia is rated as the second least densely populated country in the world, with vast open landscapes, beautiful deserts and national parks, peace, stability and good governance, reliable road, rail and air infrastructure, excellent telecommunications network, stable labor environment. Namibia is a very safe country, even though expatriates tend to live mostly in the capital city, Windhoek. Investors, especially newcomers, consider Namibia because of market stability and a predictable investment environment which is what Namibia has excelled in since their independence in 1990. Experts say the country could increase its GDP by 15 to 20 billion in a year, creating over 100,000 domestic jobs for the population and has a favorable tax system. A family of four estimated monthly costs are 1,057 for 97.4 CFA, 33,319 Namibian dollars and 60 cents, without rent. A single person estimated monthly costs are 304, 597.3 CFA, 9,597 Namibian dollars and 20 cents, without rent. Cost of living in Namibia is, on average, 24.7% lower than in Cameroon. Rent in Namibia is, on average, 38.5% lower than in Cameroon. 9. Ghana This West African country although relatively small in area and population, Ghana is one of the leading countries of Africa, partly because of its considerable natural wealth and partly because it was the first black African country south of the Sahara to achieve independence from colonial rule. Fortunately, foreigners moving to Ghana with employment already secured are likely to receive much support from their employing company. Companies in Ghana must process work permits themselves and can help with visas and residence permits to get their expatriates settled. Known for its political stability and also a welcoming attitude towards foreigners, Ghana has a growing economy and an excellent cultural scene. Also, people moving with their families can find large homes with beautiful gardens while the young and single people might enjoy renting a luxury apartment. The housing stock is actually short in supply but also very high in demand, starting a new life in Ghana is an exciting activity and despite high costs, many employment companies can negotiate in favor of expatriate employees. This can include accommodation, tuition fees, and insurance as well as visa and travel costs. In all these, it's important to discuss these matters with the employer when securing a job in Ghana. Even though there are many languages spoken in Ghana, English is the main language. 8. Tanzania Tanzania, the home to the tallest mountain in the African continent and the largest country in East Africa. Although not all that popular for expatriate destination, Tanzania has rather become a place for tourists. Actually, the cost of living around the capital city, which is Dodoma, is relatively low making it an attractive destination for those looking to stretch their budget. Although Tanzania is one of the poorer countries on the African continent, you can't help but feel the optimism and love of life that the people embrace. Bias and prejudice are hard to find, with diverse ethnic groups and religious traditions living harmoniously side by side. By and large, the local population is kind and generous in spirit with an undercurrent of respect and politeness. You can say starting up here might not be best but the culture, Beautiful landscapes and rapid development of this country make it a place to be in coming years. 7. Morocco 
The mountainous kingdom of Morocco is a peaceful and politically stable country. Rich in cultures, with very busy cities, historic sites, and beautiful stunning landscapes. Living in Morocco as a new person doesn't necessarily need you to apply for any entry visas except you are a citizen of Iran, Sudan, Egypt, or Syria, you must obtain an entry visa to visit Morocco, but you must rather apply for a residence within the first 90 days. That's a lot of time to get started in Morocco. Internet and networking are generally sufficient to find a good accommodation in major cities. Just in case, you can still use the services of a local real estate agent. If you want the best education for your children, international schools are more preferable. However, they tend to come at a high price. Although Morocco is a Muslim country, it follows the Western style of work from Monday to Friday. The business day generally starts at 9 o'clock and ends at 1900 hours, with time for prayers and a long lunch break built in. On Friday, shops and business close from 11 to 1500 hours for the main weekly prayers, during which time all Muslims gather together at the local mosque. 6. Kenya The Republic of Kenya located in East Africa, is known for its diverse and colorful culture, beautiful landscapes, brave tribesmen, and a variety of animals. This country is a land for all but unlike Morocco, you need to apply for a visa to get to Kenya. The cost of living in Kenya is not very high, but accommodation tends to be pricey but the government is currently planning to transform the nation from its present status as a developing country and emerging market into a middle-income country within the next two decades. Such an increase in general economic growth, average income, and standard of living would benefit everyone living in Kenya. However, Kenya faces a number of obstacles to overcome if it wants to achieve this ambitious goal same as other growing countries. So living in Kenya in the coming year would guarantee that you live a happy and stress-free life according to the plans Kenya has for the future. Kenya is a place with a technical population, high and abundant opportunities for entrepreneurship, able to help you sustain your stay there. 5. Senegal Senegal is one of the most stable countries in Africa, with three peaceful political transitions since independence in 1960. Known for its welcoming people, year-round sun and natural landscapes, Senegal is a great place to move with your family. If you are looking to work in Senegal, it is best you apply for a foreigner identity card, which is valid for five years and is renewable. Whether you enter the country with or without a biometric visa, you should make your request for a foreign identity card at the Foreigners and Travel Documents Police Department in the capital city, Dakar. Working in Senegal is all about competing because most of the locals are well-educated and skilled. So in order to secure a position for yourself, you need to have the skills to compete with locals. Although safer and more secure than many other West African nations, Senegal still has a high rate of petty street crime, including theft, robbery, and scams. Be sure to keep your money and important belongings in safe compartments and be aware of pickpockets in crowded, urban areas like markets or busy streets. Also ensure that you carry some identification, like your passport or visa, at all times as the Senegalese police are known for stopping expatriates and non-locals, and they will ask to see your identification. 4. Egypt Egypt, with its beautiful and exciting landmarks such as the pyramids, a flourishing urban culture, makes it an exciting and enchanting place to start a new life. Foreigners who wish to work in Egypt must obtain a work permit to be authorized into the labor market. Working conditions in Egypt are rather different from what you could be used to in Western countries. For instance, the legal working week consists of eight working hours a day over six days. You are therefore entitled to a maximum of 48 hours per week. In general, the weekend goes from Friday to Saturday. Once you have started working, you are eligible to 21 paid leaves per year, including six consecutive days. Upon completing 10 years of service or once you have reached the age of 50, you are entitled to 30 paid leaves. There is no minimum wage for foreigners in Egypt. But in general, they are entitled to a higher salary than the national average, which is around 1,000 Egyptian pounds. This should be able to accommodate your bills and other expenses as you stay in Egypt. The health care services in this country are very great and encouraging. And good to know, the doctors there speak foreign languages like English and French. 
Tunisia. There are a lot of reasons why you would want to start a new life in Tunisia. Tunisia is one of the most visited countries in Africa. In fact, it was visited by over 2 million tourists in 2020 alone. The country is home to stunning scenery, beautiful beaches and an abundance of historical attractions. Now why should you move to Tunisia to start up afresh? Cost of living in Tunisia is also relatively low compared to most European countries. This makes it an attractive destination for digital nomads and anyone else marking their income from abroad. There are work opportunities in Tunisia too. However, these are limited to specific industries. With that, finding a job in Tunisia's major cities like Tunis, Sousse is not impossible and can be a great way to obtain international work experience. Foreign pensioners living here enjoy a relaxed lifestyle, quality and relatively inexpensive healthcare and easy access to variety of health procedures such as telesotherapy. Whichever reason you may have for moving to Tunisia, one of the first things you will need to sort out upon your arrival is where to live. There are lots of accommodation options in Tunisia. 2. Cape Verde Cape Verde is an island country in the Atlantic Ocean, located more than 500 kilometers off the coast of West Africa. Foreigners settling here can enjoy a pleasant way of life in a warm climate and fantastic beaches. The capital, Proya offers good housing options and some job opportunities. It is also a home for a small English-speaking community, whereas the main language spoken here is Portuguese and Creole. The cost of living in Cape Verde is $760, which is 1.34 times less expensive than the world average. Cape Verde ranked 120th out of 197 countries by cost of living and the 105th best country to live in. The average salary after taxes in Cape Verde is $294, which is enough to cover living expenses for 0.4 months. Medical facilities and some medicines might be short in supply or unavailable. There are hospitals in the capital, Proya and in other smaller islands of the country. However, there is a collaboration and demonstration that shows a promising future for Cape Verde. 1. Uganda if you wish to relocate to Uganda then it's a good idea. Uganda is an exciting and appealing destination for an expatriate with its spectacular landscapes and natural wonders. With its friendly and welcoming population and fast-growing economy. People, who are settling here to live and work, enjoy a stable economy. There are many job opportunities are available for foreign professionals in NGO, journalism and also in the oil sector. The cost of living of a family of four in Uganda is estimated at 1, 110, 219.3 FCFA that is 6,783,235.5 Ugandan shillings without rent for a month. And for a single person it is estimated at 319, for 58.1 FCFA that is over 1,951,830 Ugandan shillings also without rent. Cost of living in Uganda is on average, 25.2% lower than in Cameroon and rents are on average, 56.8% lower than in Cameroon. Uganda is generally considered to be a safe country for expats and digital nomads to live in. The rate of crime is moderate. Foreigners generally are untargeted. That said, it is important to exercise caution. Uganda is an extremely religious country. 39% of people are Roman Catholic, 32% are Anglican, 11% are Pentecostal Christian, and 14% are Muslim. Only 0.2% of people identify as agnostic or atheist. When talking to people, you should try to respect everyone's beliefs. People are extremely passionate about their religion here. There are churches everywhere. If you live near a mosque, you will hear the call to prayer played over a loudspeaker multiple times per day. In conclusion, to all that said, these countries listed above are so far the best African countries to start a new life. Either with your family or to start up alone, you can be at an advantage if you are moving from countries with none of the opportunities listed above available in them and have better opportunities and healthy life. Although they might be short of some better lifestyles, they will accommodate you given the fact that they are developing every single day. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe as this will help our video reach a wider view. See you in the next one.